I said I wasn't going to comment on false accusations, uh, not the stats, but I need to comment on the existence of false accusations. If not their frequency, then their existence. Please finish your thought. People lie. Men lie. Women lie. Feminists lie. Yesterday I read about the drunken video that was meant to dramatize the rape culture. The video went viral and it showed a supposedly drunk young woman asking various men for assistance. The men made sexual suggestions instead. Then the LA Weekler revealed that the men had been paid, their lines had been scripted. It was a hoax. People lie, men lie, women lie, feminists lie. Do not build justice for women on injustice for men. Thank you. Um, I'm so grateful to be here, um, but I did want to start by saying that as happy as I am to have this opportunity to speak about this issue, um, I think like a lot of people, I'm exhausted of having to talk about rape culture in a framework that assumes its existence is up for debate. Um, thanks. Um, that said, I want to I wanna start by telling you a story about an amazing woman that you may have heard of called Emma Sulkowitz. Anyone heard of Emma? Okay, so, oh, a lot of you. Excellent. Okay, so in 2013, Emma, who is a student at Columbia University, reported being raped to her school. At first, she didn't want anyone to know, but when she met two other students who said they'd been assaulted by the same man who attacked her, a man who was also a student, she decided to report. In addition to telling her school, she also later filed a police report in which she described, and I'm sorry, trigger warning to those of you who might find this upsetting, um, she filed a police report in which she described being hit and choked during the attack, um, as well as being anally penetrated, all without consent. Emma told me uh, and other reporters how terribly the university handled her case. They didn't take complete notes. They demanded she not the, uh, discuss the case with anyone. And during the disciplinary panel, one of the experts who was put on the panel didn't actually believe that anal sex could physically happen without lubricant. Um, so they just, they didn't believe it at all. So at the end, the panel found her attacker not responsible, um, and Emma said that she felt like a shell of a human being. 